through the minister doesn't even understand his own bill. If the CRTC can regulate what you see on your YouTube or Instagram feed, they can control what you see and what you learn. Question and I, the Honourable Leader of the Opposition. Mr. Speaker, tomorrow the Governor of Michigan wants to shut down the Line 5 pipeline that is critical to the Canadian economy. After many months of inaction, this morning, mere hours before the deadline, the Liberal government filed an objection with the court. Is this last-minute legal action an admission that this Prime Minister's outreach to President Biden has failed? Right, Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, Line 5 is a critical piece of infrastructure both for Canada and the United States. It's vital for energy workers and families on both sides of the border. Today, the Government of Canada filed a submission in U.S. Court in support of the continued safe operation of Line 5 and in support of continued mediation between Michigan and the company. As we have for many months, Ambassador Hillman and government officials will continue to engage with our counterparts on this important issue. On the minister's law before he pulls the comments down offline. The, the Globe and Mail called the minister's performance amateur hour on C-10. Open media has said the Prime Minister and this minister have lost the plot with this law. Michael Geist, the leading expert, said Bill C-10 represents an unconscionable attack on free expression. Mr. Minister of Heritage himself confirmed that the government would be regulating social media users who have many followers or subscribers. He even mentioned that they would be regulated not by the government, but by the CRTC. I can't believe that Canadians who have a lot of sus subscribers or who are successful online would be subject to the regulation of their content. The Conservatives are proud of Canadian culture and talent. So why are the Liberals trying to regulate that? The Honourable Minister. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. It's been clear since the beginning that what we want is to focus on two things. First of all, we want social media platforms to contribute financially to our cultural industry in Quebec and Canada. And secondly, we want to make sure that our Canadian artists can be discovered on platforms like YouTube. I was relieved to see that the Conservatives are finally starting to listen to the cultural sector and they've stopped their two weeks of useless filibustering. We will continue to stand with our artists and content creators and we are looking forward to resuming uh, to the com committee resuming its work soon. The com cultural sector is behind us on this one. The Honourable Member for Chicoutimi Le Fier. Mr. Speaker, the Minister started out by saying that the government and the CRTC regulations in Bill C-10 would apply to people who have a lot of subs subscribers and who make a lot of money and could be considered like uh, as influencers or broadcasters. But the next day, he said the opposite. I don't know if the minister understands his own bill, but one thing is clear. It's extremely vague and confusing, and that's unacceptable. Why is the Liberal government trying to impose a law that will violate Canadians' freedom of expression? The Honourable Minister. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Bill C-10 aims to standardize the rules for uh, Canadian creators and web giants. It will force large, uh, powerful foreign companies to contribute financially, to support Canadian culture, and to allow different audiences to discover our culture as well. The bill explicitly says that this, these obligations will only apply to web giants and not to Canadian users. For too long, the government has chosen to be proactive on this. The Honourable Member for Lethbridge. Aspiring creatives have found a way to successfully market themselves on social media. In doing so, they pose a threat to big arts and culture groups that have traditionally relied on government favours in order to stay afloat. Finding it hard to compete with savvy YouTubers, those arts and culture groups knocked on the government's door and asked the Prime Minister to tip the scales. Enter Bill C-10. Please remind me, sorry, how, how, how does picking winners and losers protect Canadian culture? The Honourable Minister. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, unfortunately, we have another sad example of Conservative Party members dragging through the mud our great Canadian creators 
wildly renowned around the world who've just recently, a number of them won a number of awards um, at the, 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 the number of different um, festivals, Mr. Speaker. It's a, it's a sad moment. And unfortunately, another example of how the Conservative Party is again listening to the most extremist element of its own party while dragging them on our, our Canadian artist, and, and, and Member for Lethbridge. Speaker. The minister is talking about those groups that receive handouts from the government in order to stay afloat. He's not talking about those individuals who work hard in order to capture an audience organically on YouTube. Canadian content creators have worked hard to capture massive audiences without any help from government. And yet we see the Liberals attempting to tip the scales in favour of those big lobby groups. And they're doing so by penalizing individual Canadians for finding success on social media without government support. Bill C-10 is a disastrous attack on freedom and those with a creative or entrepreneurial edge. So when will the Heritage Minister listen to Canadian content creators and back off? The Honourable Minister. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Um, again, uh, let me be clear. You know, C10 aims to level the playing field between creators and web giants. And I continue to be baffled by the fact that the Conservative Party of Canada has decided to side with the, some of the wealthiest and most powerful companies in the world against our Canadian artists in, in, in this country and our, and our musicians. We will require big, powerful foreign streamers to provide information on their revenues in Canada, financially contribute to Canadian stories and music, and make it easier for individuals to discover our culture. The bill explicitly says that obligations apply to web giants only, not Canadian users. The Honourable Member for Richmond, Arthabasca. Mr. Speaker, the Minister of Heritage outdid himself yesterday by reporting on Twitter that public opinion is currently being manipulated by a misinformation campaign deliberately implemented by commercial interests who would rather not have the same rules imposed on them as broadcasters. Does he really consider the, the, the concerns of Canadians, analysts, experts, professors, and all those who've spoken out against his bill are part of some grand conspiracy theory? Seriously? The Honourable Minister. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I'd like to read an extract of a letter in the press this morning from Professor Saunier at uh, the Professor uh, at the University of Montreal. He says that the entire cultural industry in Quebec is aware that Francophone culture is increasingly being marginalized by uh, some of these big companies. This is a dangerous game that the Conservative gov uh, Party is playing. Now, they claim to be depending the French language, but this honourable member will be depriving Quebec artists of hundreds of thousands of dollars. The honourable member for Richmond, Athabasca. Mr. Speaker, this minister loves to change the channel. It's insulting to see this minister following his repeated failures, blaming honest Canadians who were shocked by the Liberals' attack on our freedom of expression. The only reason we're in this mess is because of his inability to deliver a decent bill. And if his latest public statements are any indication, he's doing nothing to dispel people's doubts. Why does the minister insist on playing petty politics with free speech advocates, as he just did, uh, by attacking uh, freedom of expression. The Honourable Minister. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I want to thank my Honourable colleague for giving me this opportunity to... Name some of the many uh, organizations that have already supported Bill C-10. For, for example, example, the uh, 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 Society uh, of uh, Authors and Composers in Quebec, the National Alliance of the Music Industry, uh, the Association de Distributeurs Ex Exclusifs de Livres en Langue Française, the SOCOM, the uh, French Canadian Cultural Association, the Union of Artists, the Society of Performing Art Artists, the Quebec Association of Dramatic Artists. Don't forget to like, dislike, subscribe, and comment. Safe Space Cafe. And always, have a good